giving it's giving what it's what's what it's supposed to give you know it's just but i feel like once you get that thing you're then working for the next thing Quite a little bit of hairspray in the hair so it doesn't the curls try and hold hope they hold <laughs> It's been such a long day today. I was meant to pick up the vlog earlier and I never did because I was rushing around everywhere. I had a PT session this morning and I went straight to swimming. Um, for extra swim class and he's actually dipped his head in the water today so we're making progress I'm so happy and when he did it he like looked up at me because I was sitting up in the stands and he was like mommy I did it oh it was the sweetest thing I was like yes baby you did it so good then after that I went to the Asian supermarket I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up and then I went and got my nails done um, my aunt does my nails She's qualified and all of that. These are gel nails. These are my own nails just with a gel and this nude color, which has become my favorite. This is the second time I'm having it done. It's just so nice. I am going to get on a color for the summer, but these right now are the hit. Um, and then, because today the weather was nice today, I was wearing this yellow sundress, the sundress season, and this crop jacket um oh yeah and these earrings my friend Annette picked up for me from H&M so if you're after some nice fake gold hoops get yourself some that was fit fit today let me show you guys what I picked up from the Asian supermarket so I definitely only went in there for I think four things I'll show you those four things first and then we can work out where I went wrong <laughs> So I got this um, gyoza dipping sauce. So we have some gyozas that we got from Costco, but we always need a dipping sauce. So this was one of the things I was going in there for. And then the other thing that was going in there for was chili oil. I've seen this chili oil, this little lady here, this is meant to be good chili oil. So I went with that chili oil. And then I also went in there for this chili garlic sauce. This is nice to like cook your um, stir fry noodles in or your stir fried rice. Goes nice. And then the other thing I went in there for was soy sauce. I told you guys in a previous vlog when I was marinating my meat that I wanted a good soy sauce. So I had Googled this and apparently this is a good brand. Got the premium dark soy sauce and it wasn't even expensive. I think it was like a pound something for this big thing. I'll tell you how much it was. One pound ninety five. Um, and then these are the things that I didn't go in there for. Didn't go in there for this. This is Chinese fried rice sauce and I thought yep when i make fried rice i can use that i got some kimchi didn't go that in there for this but i love kimchi i love kimchi so i saw that and i was like yep give me some kimchi and then i saw this katsu curry sauce so we can make our own katsu curry because matthew likes the katsu curry from wagamama's Sorry, my dinner is cooking. Um, and then, obviously, because I picked up the katsu curry sauce, I saw these. These are the panko breadcrumbs. Like, the nice flaky white ones. I don't know if you can tell right there that they make, they used to make the katsu chicken. This is what I'm going to make. I'm going to make it with the rice, the katsu chicken sauce, and the katsu chicken. And it's the same brand for these. And then after that i just picked up lots of instant ramen this stuff is not good for you but if you're having it inconsistently it's fine indomie if you know about indomie if you are looking for some nice instant noodles this is it mate this one is it and i got the spicy noodle flavor i got four of them and then I did a bit of Google search and then the best ramen and these ones came up. So I got the black 
garlic oil one. This was highly rated on the Insta webs. This one was highly rated on the Insta webs. <laughs> and this one was highly rated on the Insta webs. So yeah, I got those as well. That's it. That's all I got. And my total was 25 pounds, all those things. So I don't think that's bad because the soy sauce alone, I told you is one pound 95. The garlic sauce, this big thing, that was two pounds. The chili oil was two pound 35. The kimchi, the kimchi was like the most expensive, was £3.35. And even the panko breadcrumbs were £2.20 and the sauce was £1.80. So pretty good prices at the Chinese supermarket. But I'm glad because you guys know I've been trying to go in, I've been talking about getting the good soy sauce for a while. So that's what I did. I'm about to have dinner. We're we'll making pizza for dinner. I'm going to have half of the pizza and then just save half for another for tomorrow probably um and then yeah that's it for today i hope you guys are having a lovely week i hope your week has got off to a good start today is monday for me and my monday has been busy but it has got off to a good start ready to tomorrow and tomorrow i'm going to take you guys with me but i'm going to actually continue my dpn removal that i've talked to you about on a previous video so i'm going to be hitting all of these ones are around here so that's on my agenda tomorrow so you guys will see me do that you're gonna come with me anyway so let me not pre-tell you what we're gonna do but you're coming you're gonna be coming tomorrow so see you in the morning good morning everybody i hope you guys are doing well today is the day i'm going to get the rest of my dpn removed as i showed you guys yet as i told you guys yesterday um it's tuesday the weather is not hitting like it was yesterday it's definitely not sundress season we're back to jumpers the uk weather is so bipolar like one day hot one day cold one day rain one day snow okay not snow but you get the gist <sighs> i just went to starbucks because i wanted to buy a um like a drink and something to eat and they were like only cash and i was like what is this 2008 like what what do you mean technology has failed you this morning she was like oh you can go to the cash point and get money i was like oh, i'm not doing that I just got back in the car and made my way out this is i don't know like now i'm just like oh cash is such an inconvenience oh when before it was like you know unless you had your physical card on you actually the card was an inconvenience but because we you know you have your apple pay or your android pay or whatever card like you always have money on you even if you don't actually have the cash but yeah i just couldn't be bothered to go to the um actual cash point and get money out and sometimes i do carry a little bit of money on me but i, I think i only have like four four pounds on me and I don't think whatever I was going to get was going to be that much. Was going to be, it's going to be a bit more than that. So, because, you know, Starbucks prices is high. Um, so, yeah. That's what's going on. And I'm about to make my way. I've been thinking about practicing gratitude in the season that you're in. Because I feel like so often we, like, obviously pray for, work hard for, wish for, whatever it is you want to get somewhere or get something and you're like you know when i get there i'm going to be so grateful because you know i've got that said thing but i feel like once you get that thing you're then working for the next thing so therefore you're constantly on to the next thing and i feel like people fail to give gratitude in the season that they're in for example like when we was in the us our car was like a little bit older so when we got this car it wasn't a brand new car but it was still new to us and a lot of the things that when i was in the us i was like oh i wish this car has this which car has that our car now has those things so for example like it has like electric mirror like electric side mirrors so i don't have to like once you park like push the mirror in 
so i'm i'm using that example so at four i'm using that example to show how you should give or when you should give gratitude in the season that you're in so instead of thinking oh this guy's it's not my dream car like i'm working towards my dream car but i also want to remember and be grateful for the fact that this car does more than what our old car was and it does things that i was wishing for with our old car do you see what i'm trying to say like being grateful for the season that you're in and that could be you know like you're working a job but you wish to be in a higher position or to work for a different company but when you get there you know you want to get into even a bigger higher position etc and you might forget to be grateful that actually this where you are right now is where you wished to be at one point like you know you might have been living in a different country and you know you wish to go to a different country and now you're in that country like remember to be grateful in that season like these are the things that you wished for one time like for me like i also wished i wanted to come back here so every day i'm just like i'm just so grateful to be back in the uk because i remember there was a time that i wished to be closer to my family and now i'm closer to them and i make it a point to go and see them so often because when i was in the us i was longing to see them so i feel like we just need to remember and be grateful in the season that we're in and not get caught up so much on the next thing and the next goal and where we're going next the next best thing that we're gonna get it's nice to have that mindset because obviously it makes you strive to get more we also need to be grateful people and and practice gratitude and express gratitude and that doesn't always have to be like in the physical it can be like you know if someone's done something nice for you or etc just be grateful people because when you're a grateful person i'm telling you you don't even you don't see all the other things that you're missing in your life because you're just so grateful with what you already have and i feel like if more people practice gratitude they'll have less worry in their lives, you know, because you're just going to be so grateful about what you have right now. You ain't going to worry about tomorrow. You're not going to worry about those, all these other things because you're going to be grateful with what you have today. It does help. Gratitude does help. It obviously doesn't help everything, but practicing gratitude helps. And if you're not someone who practices gratitude, try it. And if you are somebody who practices gratitude, let me know do you agree with what i'm saying that gratitude definitely does make it easier to be grateful for what you have in this season You guys, I finished. I don't know if you can tell. Like, it's hard to tell right now because, um, like, they, they're not even stinging anymore. It's probably been about half an hour since I had it uh, done. But I'll show you the progress within, like, the next week. Just how they'll start to kind of darken and then start to, like, peel off. Just kind of come, come away, so... Um, I would say the pain once you're getting it done is probably on a scale of one to ten it's probably like six at the worst and then one or two at the least like some of them depending on how big they are you feel it more because she obviously has to add to go at it a bit more but if they're small you don't feel it as much but the numbing cream does help the numbing cream that she recommended I bought was this one from Boots you can pick this up from any pharmacy um and then i basically put it on half an hour before i go for the treatment but you can add a second layer 15 minutes before the treatment but i only had one layer today and i was able to sustain it um and they do them in two um sessions so you can do a 15 minute session or 30 or 30 minute session and i do the 30 minute session so i've had two 30 minute sessions done we did the, most of the face the last time and partly here and today we did a little bit of the face we touched up on like i had some like right here and we went over like um 
we went over this one this one and then we hit these um these ones here and and then we went over this area as well and then maybe like one or two over here but most of it today was spent on my on my chest so i have another session booked for the 17th that's probably only going to be a 15 minute session and then i'll probably that would be it so it's done with the by i'd say two to three sessions depending on how many you have and how many you want to work on but definitely more two sessions is what you need hi guys i hope you guys are doing well today is a sunny sunny day it is 2 30 p.m friday the 13th of may and i'm about to set off to go for a bachelorette weekend um this is my friend jade my childhood friend jade her cousin is getting married and um it's her bachelorette party or hendu as they call it here so that is where we are about well not we i am about to go matthew and ezra are staying here and um it's going to be a two and a half hour drive because i'm going to somewhere called bournemouth which is like a seaside town i've never been there before I've never been in that area before but i'll show you guys parts of it how this weekend goes um yeah that's it so i'm ready for this drive two and a half hours i've already said my prayer because when you're setting off you've got to say your prayers for god to cover you so you can arrive there in one piece because you're going amongst other drivers who are not as careful but anyway let's go I'll give you a quick tour of the Airbnb. That's the main bathroom. Get naked. This is a room here. And it's another bedroom here. And it looks out into the front yard people in this one there i am hey and then up here it's another bedroom so i'm staying in this one this is meant to be a king size bed they're lying this is not a king size bed no way this bed looks like oh it might be a uk king size okay that makes sense it's a uk king size which is a us queen that's why it doesn't look like a king size. And then we have an ensuite. Again. Get naked. Looks out to the front. And then this shower looks very scrummy. Rain shower. It's nice. It's very clean. I like when Airbnbs are clean. And this has a sofa situation down here. I'm in here. Just take my keys. Go downstairs. I love the painted stairs. It does smell a bit old in here though. You know that old smell? Maybe it's that reed diffuser, but it's not it's not making me happy. I wanna be a weekend lover. Yeah, I'ma be the best damn lover you got. I wanna mess up your covers. I got back from Bournemouth and I forgot to update you guys to tell you how Bournemouth was. The bachelorette party head weekend was good. Bournemouth is nice. If you've never been before and you live in the UK or close by, yeah, I'd recommend it for a nice little weekend break. They had some nice beach bars. They even had a gym on the beach. Like, it was really giving international vibes. <laughs> um, yeah, it was nice. Nice weekend. If you 
I'd also recommend it for like a hen do stag do situation so yeah it's nice we liked it and the drive back was easy it was actually easier than going because on the way well, going I left a little bit later so therefore I caught a bit of traffic but coming back I left there at 8 40 in the morning I didn't catch any traffic it was like a straight shot home um yeah so it was really nice that was the end of my weekend down there um I hope you guys are doing really well. I hope you've had a nice week, day, night, whenever you're watching this. I just want to say thank you for your continued support. Thank you for watching my videos when you don't have to, but I appreciate that you do. Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are doing really well. Today is Saturday. Oh, that's tight. I'm trying to get out of this space. And people have popped pretty tight. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing really well. It's Saturday morning today and I'm taking you around on my day with me today. I am right now, I've just left home. It's um, half past, nearly half past eight. And oof, I'm going to a hair appointment at Elite Hair Lounge in, um, I'm going for a hair appointment and I go to Elite Hair Lounge and i haven't been to one since december i mean you've watched me i've pre pretty much been braiding my hair since i came back from barbados i had those braids and i took them out for like two weeks and then i braided my hair again for the last six weeks so i took out my hair yesterday and because my hair was th um, bigger like in the size was bigger it was so easy and i had washed it um on thursday i washed it wednesday night so my scalp was like clean so there wasn't you know when you take out your hair and all that dirt and debris is coming off onto like your top i didn't have any of that it's a clutch like that's my new thing i'm gonna wash my hair before i take my braids out because it's such a better process um so i did that yesterday and that was all good i watched um our father on netflix oh my god have you guys watched that that's mad like <laughs> wow if you haven't watched our father on netflix it's not scary it's nothing like that but you, it's worth a watch it's a good documentary um yeah it was it's a good documentary should i tell you a little bit about it it's about this um fertility doctor uh where people are going to him obviously for uh insemination with when they couldn't you know conceive and yeah it's that's the gist of it that's basically what what was happening um yeah so i recommend that i watched that yesterday i also watched the uh duane wade up there's no there's no petrol what's going on here oh there's no petrol look at me like everybody else have driven up in here thinking there's no there's petrol ain't no petrol here b oh i was gonna get petrol but they're clear there's no petrol I'm gonna have to go to the other the other place that I normally get petrol. This roundabout is so hard to get onto this roundabout because there's always cars. Do you want know, it's a really busy roundabout? The other documentary that I watched was the Dwayne Wade documentary on Disney. I was just trying to find something that's an easy watch while I take my hair out and both of those were very good our father was great i recommend that one so i'm gonna stop here and get petrol and then i'm gonna make my way my appointment's at 9 a.m and it's gonna take me about half an hour to get there so i'm gonna go do that now i show you guys the process back i almost forgot to show you guys the finished hair i don't know if you can see it 
it's looking pretty good I'm happy with it um, I didn't need that much off I'll pop some pictures here of how much hair they had to take off but I think because I've had it in braids pretty much most of this year um, that's helped it from getting a lot of split ends but I'm happy with the length I'm happy with how it's growing it looks nice nice and fluffy and I put a few curls in it, even though they're falling, which is fine. I can always like curl with my own straightener just to add more curls. I am going out this evening, so I think I might put in some more curls in here. We are going to my friend's partner's 50th birthday. And yeah, it's going to be a vibe. I'm looking forward to it. Happy birthday, Ian, if you are watching this. I wish you many, many more years and a life full of happiness and joy and all the things you desire. So yeah, we're looking forward to celebrating you this evening. That's what we're gonna go and do. So I'm, it's like, what time is it? One twenty-four. I was in the salon for three hours. I had, um, like a wash, oh, the girl that washed my hair, oh man, the girl was, mm, mm, mm. like literally, I would go to the salon just for them to wash my hair, you know, so um, she washed my hair really good, then I had an Olaplex treatment, the salon kind, I think I had number one and number two, and then I went in a dryer and I had a, they, they washed, they rinsed that out, and then I had a treatment, a moisture treatment in and I sat in the dryer for a little while and then they rinsed me out, bro dried, detangled, bro dried, and then they straightened the hair and then they cut it once. It's in the straight, well, I had a trim, just a trim. And then, yeah, and then I left. I put the curls in and left and that all took three hours and I really wasn't waiting around a lot. I was seen pretty much when I got there and they started everything so it was very busy like I always tend to go on a Saturday because that's when Matthew is home for long periods so he can watch Ezra so I always tend to go on a weekend but if I had it my way I'd probably go during the week where it's more karma when everyone else is not also trying to get in the salon at the same time but I, I like it I like the outcome of the hair I like how my hair's growing actually it's it's giving it's giving what it's what's what it's supposed to give you know it's just it's given length. I do want it to get like down here one day. I'd love it to get really long, but I've been natural for this August would make five years since I transitioned to natural for my relaxed hair. And my relaxed hair was pretty much this long anyway. So I've achieved the length in both straight and relaxed and natural. I'm going to go and have a cup of tea and something to eat play with Ezra because he's racing his monster truck in the front of the house and then um, we'll get ready later my sister's coming over to watch Ezra while we're out um, yeah so that's the plan I'm ready for the night out this is what the makeup's looking like and I've done my hair I've kind of curled it I've put a little hairspray that I happen to have <laughs> I use that hairspray to spray my pampas grass and I still have it. So I put a little bit of hairspray in the hair so it doesn't, the curls try and hold, hope they hold. Um, I'm wearing this blouse, which I got from Zara. I've got it in two colors, but it's like a satin material. And then I've got my little, oops, a little Gucci belt on. And these jeans are Zara as well. Then on my feet, I'm wearing these H&M heels. I've had these a long time. So yeah, that's what. And then I just need to get my bag. I'm probably going to use like a little white bag. I'll show you. I'm probably going to use this bag. I picked it up from Primark recently. It was only six pounds. And that will kind of, you know, complete the look. So I'm ready. I'm feeling good. 
I'll just show you, let me show you my fragrance. Fragrance that I'm wearing is um, by Rado, by The Freak. Love this one. It smells so good. It reminds me of when my friend Janice came to New York and we went past this store and we tried these perfumes on and this perfume just, every time I wear it, reminds me of that time, but I love it. That's what I've got on and I'm ready to go.